Okay, somebody uploaded this file, and I'm going to show them, or try to show them how to fix it. This is what it looks like when you first load it. And the first thing I'm going to do in Inkscape is I'm going to go to View, I'm going to go to Display Mode, and I'm going to go to Outline. That'll give me a better look at what I'm actually doing here. And as I select this, you can tell it's all one big grouped object, so I'm going to hold the Control key, the Shift key, and the, I'm going to push the G key about ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to see what's actually going on. You can tell there's a whole lot of objects in there. This particular shape here should only be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There should only be eight objects there. But when I do this, it's actually 47 objects, which I know is wrong. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and look, and it's, oops, single line. So we're going to get rid of that, and there's a single line, single line, and a single line. And that's on all of these. So there's a single line on each of these. That has to be deleted. So I'm just going around selecting these and then hitting the delete key to delete them. Then I'm going to just select one of them and you'll notice that down here it says the object is a polygon. And I'm not sure how Easel handles polygons but I don't use them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole thing and I'm going to do path, object to path. Now when I select that same one, you'll see that it's four nodes, one path, or one layer. So that's what I want to see. This one should be four, four, so that one's good. It's four corners, so there's four paths, four. They, those should all be good now. Now the other thing is, is the outline is also all single paths, which have to be joined. So make sure you do that uh, object to path before you do this. So I'm going to double click on that one and you'll see the node pop up. I'm going to hold the shift key and click on the line right next to it and then I'm going to highlight those two nodes and I'm going to hit join selected nodes and then that's going to make it. And then I'm going to go down here Oops. see there's actually up here and here and I'm going to hold the shift key again select it join the nodes. <clears throat> now I know there's other programs that will do this automatically like uh, AutoCAD, but I don't have AutoCAD and I don't believe a whole lot of people do. And Inkscape is free and this is the way I do it and I am familiar with it. So I'm going to join those two and I'm just going to keep going around and doing this until they're all, until this becomes a closed shape. Now that one's closed. I'm going to select that one. Join that one. So do the same thing. I'm just going around holding the shift key as on the next line, hold the shift key, select it, box around the nodes, and hit join. And you still see that these aren't, so I'm going to join those, and I'm going to join those. Oops, that one didn't work. Well, that one's already joined. Nope. So I need to do that one and that one and hit join. And I think I got them all. I think. Nope. Select that one. Hit join those two. Select this line and that line. Are they all joined now? Nope. See, that's still open. Even though that looks closed, if you get right in on it, it's not. So, shift. Oops. Select both of those and hit join. No, I think that's all of them, right? Nope. Yep. Now let me see if I go around here and do this. Nine objects. So how come I got nine? Should be, or is it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I still got something. I missed something somewhere. I missed a line or something. I missed something somewhere. Single line right there. Doop. Okay, I'm going to show you that again. 
how did I know I was missing that? If I go like this, you'll see that one extra little box there. That's a miss. So there you go. That's uh, This one's fixed. Well, except for that. <clears throat> that one would be fixed, and you're good to go. I hope this helped anybody who watched it, and thanks for watching.